coming up on Kylie Makes It. Make some sink or float fish with me and get creative when plans don't quite work out. It's me, Kylie, and I'm so excited because everything is going perfectly today. You're here right on time, and I have a friend who's dropping off something amazing for us to do today. Do you have any guesses? You'll never guess, you'll never guess. They're dropping off an aquarium, and they said some some old fish and things. I don't really know if the fish are old or, or what, but I think that it's going to be an aquarium we can put together with, with amazing seaweed and maybe one of those, uh, those pirate chests that bubbles up and then I wonder what their old fish look like. Oh my goodness, an aquarium, a whole house for fish. I can't wait to go see it. And did you hear that? That must be them now. This day is going perfectly. Let's go. Oh my goodness, I can't even wait. Look how huge this is. Oh my goodness, this will be home to so many amazingly beautiful fish. Let's see what kind of fish my friend gave us. What? Hairbrush, a car, an old jug of milk, chalk, a toy fish. I thought that my friend said that he was gonna leave fish and things, like, like real fish and like things that they would need, like fish food and aquarium decorations. And instead I get an old potato. This is really what I wanted to do with you today. No, we're not gonna let this stop our good time. Let's, let's bring this bag of stuff up to the studio and, and see if we can fishify it. Come on. I'm still not really sure how this miscommunication happened, but we're gonna make the best of it. A rooster? <sighs> okay, we have two real, well, pretend, but look like real fish. A shark and a whale. So we don't really need to do anything there. The rest of this, we're gonna need to figure something out. But you know what? Where there's hot glue, googly eyes, and imagination, there's hope. <laughs> Let's Get crafting. That's actually very cute little potato fish. Spoonfish. Thank you. 
That one looks scary. Beware of the milkfish. This fish kind of matches my outfit. <laughs> Cute guy. Last but not least, a chicken. Chicken fish. <laughs> Still just kind of looks like a chicken. We got all our fish. Ready to put them in the aquarium? We do. Let's go. Got my fish. Got some water. Let's fill it up. Are you ready to put our fish in the tank? Me too. Who should we start with? Um, maybe Spoonfish. All right, Spoonfish, swim! Spoonfish? Spoonfish sunk. Huh. Okay, who's next? Uh, how about Ping Pong Fish? All right, Ping Pong Fish. Swim! Oh. Ping pong fish floats. Some things are going to sink and some things are going to float. The spoon is heavier than the water, so it sinks. But the ping pong is lighter than the water, so it stays on top. It floats. Let's see what else our fish do. Do you think carfish is going to sink or float? Sink is my guess. Dive. Oh, a float! Or a sink. <laughs> it looks like his little fins are swimming. That's mostly a float. Okay, how about Chalkfish, sink or float? Let's see. Bloop. Floater. Let's see if my friends old toy fish sink or float. Ready? One, two, three! Sink! For fish, they are not very good swimmers. <laughs> uh, milkfish? Rawr, rawr, rawr. One, two, three. Oh, a float. Hairbrush fish, sink or float? What's your guess? Let's check it out. Let's go backwards this time. Three, two, one. <gasps> Another float. Now we've got my favorite, potato fish. Do you think potato fish will sink or float? Hmm, I think it might sink. Let's check it out. Yep, potato fish sinks. And last but not least, little, little, little chicken fish. <laughs> Oh, 
Chicken Fish did a beautiful dive down, down, down to the bottom. Chicken Fish is a sink. This was so fun! Did you guess most of them right? I think I guessed most of them would sink and they floated. <laughs> uh, well, this isn't what I was expecting, but it's still fun. Let's go back to the purple chair and talk all about it. <laughs> that was a funny day. In the beginning, it seemed like everything was going perfectly to plan, but very quickly we found out it wasn't. I was a little disappointed when I discovered what the old fish and stuff was, but you know what? Even though I was a little disappointed, it was a chance to be creative, wasn't it? We got to use foam and googly eyes and hot glue, which is like my favorite thing in the world. And we got to be together and make something awesome. And then we still got to use the aquarium because we got to find out what sinks and what floats, which is always fun. Speaking of always fun, you are <laughs> always fun. I'll see you next time.